Hey everybody. This morning I was thinking once again about ammonia in our tanks and the nitrogen cycle. And it occurred to me that for as often as we talk about this type of thing in the aquarium hobby, we generally talk about sources of ammonia, but not the source of ammonia or the main source of ammonia in our tanks. We will often talk about gravel vacuuming and making sure we get our filters changed out frequently because we all understand that the organic material in our tanks breaks down and produces ammonia as it decomposes. And we think about the uneaten fish food and we think about dead uh, plant material, the woodwork in our tanks, any kind of organic material does slowly break down and decompose and in the process ammonia is produced. But all the food that your fish eat gets broken down as well inside the fish's body and ammonia is actually produced during the decomposition process, if you will, uh, in the fish's body. We have something similar that happens in our body. All the food we eat gets broken down and we actually produce ammonia as well. Whereas our aquariums have a nitrogen cycle, our bodies have a urea cycle where the ammonia is broken down and eventually converted into urea, which is water soluble, is stored in our bladders, and then we can go ahead and pass that urea out whenever is convenient for us, uh, socially acceptable. And in the aquarium, that doesn't need to happen for the fish. They live in an environment where they can express that ammonia directly from their blood right into the water through their gills, and then the tank has the nitrogen cycle to deal with the ammonia once it's out of the fish's body. So even if you keep your tank immaculately clean, it's a glass bottom tank and you change the filter pad in it every day, if you're feeding your fish and you have fish in the tank, ammonia is being produced in the tank. And I will further go on to say, I was going to make two different videos, two different topics out of this, but I can actually put all this into one video because it all ties together. The topic of whether or not we always have ammonia in our tanks, and there's always a trace amount of ammonia in your tanks, and the answer is yes. It may not be a detectable amount, but you always have some ammonia in the tank. Remember, the nitrifying bacteria that oxidizes the ammonia, or eats the ammonia, if you will, and breaks it down, is on the surface area of a tank. And in the worst case scenario, if you've got that sterile glass tank and it's got the filter with the biomaterial in the filter, that ammonia has to get from the fish's gills or from the waste product at the bottom of the tank or wherever it's coming from, it's not being produced at the source of the nitrogen cycle. It's being produced over here. It has to travel through the water column and be carried to the nitrifying bacteria. And then that process gets broken down. It first gets converted into nitrites, which then go swirling around in the tank. So you also have non-detectable, at least by air testing methods. I did know a guy once who worked in a lab. I don't know what kind of lab or what he did, but he had some serious testing equipment. And he used to complain to me all the time that he could never get the trace amounts of ammonia out of his tank. And eventually, after basically having this discussion with him, he finally realized that he never could and that it was pointless to continue trying. But he really seriously did try to get no ammonia in his tank. I'm talking like five or six places past the decimal point parts per million and he was still finding detectable amounts of ammonia which were driving him crazy and so on and so forth. So the ammonia gets produced in the tank whether it's coming directly from the fish where a lot of it comes from. Remember by the time the fish you know poop all that food out the food has largely already been broken down inside the fish's body. A lot of that decomposition process has already taken place. Now of course the fish is also using you know a lot of that material for their body and their energy and they're burning the calories from it and everything else. But that process of doing all that in their body is where that ammonia is being produced. And then again, comes directly out of their gills into the water column and you're just always going to have trace amounts of ammonia in your tank no matter what you do. So not a lot of point to that video other than just throwing those two points out there. I've just been thinking about those today, didn't have a lot of time, and wanted to shoot a quickie about something a little more significant than just feeding my fish for the evening. So there you go. Hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. You never know what you're going to get with me. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.